The thing I don't like about horses waking up from the injectables is if, first of all, if you have a horse under an injectable anesthetic, you have a limited amount of time that you can do a procedure with that horse until you have to redose, or you use a continuous drip rate on that horse while he's under. The more injectable anesthetic that you use in that horse, one, the more risk you have of having an overdose complication or um, having too much anesthetic in the system when you are done that they have a stormy recovery where they're flipping out on themselves, falling over themselves, um, where the gas, you just don't have that. You, the potential is still there, but it's not as likely, especially with injectable anesthetic maintenance. I say the more you put into them, the more storm recovery they're going to have. And nothing worse than getting halfway through a cryptorchid surgery, having complications, running out of anesthetic drip, having to go mix some more up and try to get it hooked back up before the animal comes awake. So the gas anesthesia versus injectable gives you a lot more latitude. You can keep the animal down under an extended period of time as long as you haven't had it good. Uh, you know, all the things that you have to watch for when you do equine anesthesia. But it, it just offers you more latitude to be able to continue the procedure without having to stop and redose from the anesthetic.